All right, guys, I was not expecting to get fish. I really wanted these blue discus and they had them at the store. And this was a really impulse buy because the discus weren't looking too well. And the store owner said that they've been there a while and they just need a really good home. So he gave me a really, really good deal. So we're gonna take these discus back home and we're gonna get them quarantined, get them all fattened up. And then once they're ready, we'll add them to the main display tank. It was really impromptu, impulsive decision, but I also really, really want a blue discus. So why not help these discus that aren't feeling well get better health get them looking really nice and then we'll have them in the tank hopefully but let's get back to the house and i'll show you guys what they look like all right the discus are in this bag so i'm gonna go ahead and pull them out to show you guys because we do need to start floating them and i have to start heating up the tank all right we got two discus one is a blue checkerboard which i believe is this guy and then we have a blue snake skin which is this guy here so as you can see this guy has lightened up from the fish store but this guy is still quite dark in comparison and we just want to make sure they're eating they're all you know no have no parasites or anything like that to save them we definitely got to make sure they're quarantined for a bit and then eating for a bit you can see this guy's quite quite dark typically when discus are dark in color they're either unhappy have some kind of illness or disease or are getting picked on by the other discus really have to make sure we remove some of the fish or shrimp in one of these tanks i'm thinking we're going to remove the shrimp out of this tank and move them into this tank and put them in one of these clear containers that way with this tank i'm going to go ahead and increase the temperature and we don't have to worry about the discus and they're all alone and that way the shrimp don't get stressed out with increasing the temperature that way and it just make it easier these tanks I want to empty as well to make a quarantine tank but these guys aren't ready to go into the 40 gallon so we're gonna empty this tank. all right I went ahead and removed the plants from the tank so it's easier to catch the shrimp as you guys can see there's quite a bit of shrimp in here I'm gonna do my best to catch all of them so that they don't have to worry you know about the temperature even if some shrimp are left in here on accident I can catch them throughout the time and the temperature shouldn't be too you know dramatic for them but i just want to quarantine the discus alone and not have to worry about the shrimp too much so let's start catching them out and then i'm gonna put them in these containers all right we got all the shrimp as you guys can see in here there's quite a lot of them i started with i think like a group of 10 and now there's quite a bit but this is a good way to see like which shrimp you know i can remove to keep the colony and to get really these like orange shrimp you know but that's for another day so for now i'm going to put these into a different container with the plants and whatnot and then we're going to start floating the discus so they can get acclimated all right i got the discus in you guys can see that the water is like overflowing a bit the drain should start to catch up with all this so it's not too much of a worry i can scoop some water out but here they are floating in the bags just to get them acclimated. There's one back there and then this guy up here. He's looking much better now that he's like lightened up in the bag, but at the store he was really, really dark. So hopefully there's not too much wrong with them and they'll get, you know, recover quickly and then we can add them to the main tank, but definitely gonna quarantine them for a while. All right, the discus are in the bags. I've been adding water to the bags so they can acclimate to that and they're just chilling the tank. All right, it's been quite a bit of time for the discus to acclimate to the water, and now I'm gonna go ahead and let them out. I'm not gonna take them out of this water, and there's no other fish in this. This is a quarantine, and then the water in the bags is the same water from the fish store for both of them, so rather than trying to scoop them out, it's just gonna open the bag up, and it should just be really easy. Just gonna take this corner and slide it out. All right, that's one. Now we'll get the other guy. Let's go, little guy. You can see how dark he is, but he's moving a lot, which gives me a lot of hope. And they just need some good little love and care. All right, look at them. So this guy kind of looks like one I have similarly, but he should get a checkerboard pattern. And then this guy is really dark, but he's a blue snake skin. He'll be really, really pretty. So now let's add the meds. All right, here are the meds. We got General Cure and Urethromycin, which is about antibacterial. So we're just gonna scoop out the right amount and put it into this tank. And that will dissolve, it looks funny right now. And then we're gonna do the same thing for this one. And then, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and let them be. I'll try to feed them later, maybe when they're out in a bit. The tank is still warming up, because when you're treating discus and making sure they're all good, you definitely wanna make the water warmer and then That'll get them to start eating more, and then it'll also help treat any bacterial or fungal thing. You can barely see him because he's so dark back there, but hopefully they'll start to color up soon once they settle in the tank. All right, guys, I put like three or four Viper Bites into the tank, 
you can see the disc is out and about now and you can see this guy much clearer his color has lightened up a bit so is the other guy but I put a little bit of food because they were picking at the floor so I wanted to see if they might take the Viber Bites if not we'll try other foods oh he's he's picking at it but he keeps spitting it out all right at least they're tasting the food we might have to try some other things to get them to eat but it's also like only a few hours later that we had them in the tank so they might start eating tomorrow and if not we'll try feeding different foods to get them fattened up all right guys it's the next day so we're gonna go ahead and feed the big tank and then we're gonna check on the new guys that have been there for about over a day or so now so let's get to it all right if you guys haven't seen the big tank in a bit this is it it's quite cloudy i have to do a big filter cleaning and then the discus are really really hungry i haven't fed them yet today and i've been slowly increasing the temp to help encourage the picky eaters i also add some garlic to it all right let's go ahead and put the food in the tank i just use this little mixer because i add garlic to it and that's a lot of food it seems but there are like six loaches and ten quarries and what i'm really paying attention to is to make sure this guy is starting to eat because he's one of the newer ones and he hasn't started eating yet neither has this one but discus are shy like that, so we got to give them time and be patient with them. But they'll pick at this throughout the day. That was quite a bit of food. <laughs> oh, this guy's coming out. This guy always hides, and I don't really get to see him eat, but now he's seems like he's picking at it. I saw him eat the other day. There he goes. He got one. The new guys are being really, really picky. I have new food coming in later today, so I'm going to try that as well. But regardless, that's not what this video is about. So let's go ahead and move on to these guys. All right, while their food is soaking in some garlic and whatnot, um, and meds, you guys can see how much lighter they are and it's only been like a day or so now. They, they definitely colored up. They are looking a lot happier. I have to redose meds today. But look at him, like look at all the blue on him. Though so he used to be like the black color that I showed you guys earlier. And then the guy back there, you can actually see his like pattern now and they're just showing it to be a lot happier. This guy's started eating quite well. The other one hasn't. They're hiding because of the camera. Let's go ahead and get the food in. All right, I'm gonna add the food and then hopefully they'll start to come out again and they're not too afraid of the camera. There comes one. They both see it, they both see it. I'm gonna step back a bit and then just zoom in for you guys. All right, they're starting to pick out of this one guy on the right was eating pretty well. The one on the left, this big guy has not started. He might have parasites, so hopefully the meds will fix that. They're definitely scared of the camera. If you guys are wondering why there's snails clumped up, it's because I'm putting like green beans in to get them all on it, and then I'm gonna scoop them out to get rid of them out of the tank, because I want the discus to be able to get the food, and I have too many snails. All right guys, I've backed up from my tank because they're really, really scared of the camera. And I just put the meds in, that's why you see all these little white spots in the tank. So hopefully they'll start to come out. I showed you guys earlier when they were eating the one is definitely eating, the second one still not looking interested in food, so just got to give him a couple days. Oh look, 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 here he comes, the big one. He's going to pick at something, he's picking at it, he's thinking about it, he's thinking about it, he's thinking about it, and no, oh he's thinking about it again, and, and, no, so uh, he's definitely like interested, I think he can smell it. The one in the back, you guys can see, definitely picking at the food, which is a really good sign because they're kind of thin. Once they're good in eating and they've been, you know, fully medicated, no parasites, no bacteria infections, then we can move them to the big tank. All right, those discus are going to be in there for like two weeks until they're fully medicated, fully treated, eating well before we add them to the big tank. Now, the store, when they had got them, they probably got them where they were sick or just not doing well because that store has great quality fish, great discus all the time, and the store owner just knew that those guys weren't looking too well, and if I wanted to take them home to take care of them, then I was more than able to. And he had originally told me not to buy them, so I took them at my own risk because he knew they weren't doing well and they probably just came in not well. Hopefully they'll get a lot better real soon and then we can add them to the main tank. One is really looking hopeful with him eating. The other one hopefully will start to eat in a few days. Discus, like I said, always picky. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and like down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.